All right, let's get started. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our webinar, The Walmart Mandate, Tipping Point for RFID Adoption. Two housekeeping points before we get started. The session is being recorded, and you will receive a link over the next few days by email. Secondly, please submit your questions throughout the presentation in the Q&A section, and we will be addressing these towards the end of the webinar. To discuss how RFID increases inventory accuracy and visibility, we could not ask for two better speakers to explore this topic with you. Todd Moscato has 11 years of AIDC experience. As Chief Digital Officer of Barcodes Group, he oversees product strategy and solutions platforms, including the SLS RFID solution. Ashley Burkle is a seasoned business leader and marketing professional with demonstrated success developing and executing high impact client strategies. As a business development director at Impinge, she works with retail partners and service companies to develop solutions that improve sales, efficiency, and shopper experience. Thank you for joining us today, Todd and Ashley. Here's the agenda for today. Ashley will kick us off, giving us an overview of where the retail industry is at today, the benefits of RFID and how to get started. Todd will provide us insight in how Barcodes is helping companies in retail, their suppliers, and many other organizations increase accuracy and visibility by implementing RFID related to the Walmart mandate and beyond compliance. Barcode Group is a leading provider of barcode, mobile computing, and RFID solutions. Our solution platforms bring together hardware, software, supplies, and support. With RFID now delivering inventory accuracy in the high 90s, the solution is quickly becoming the most efficient and effective means of automated inventory and asset tracking. Ashley, please take it away. Thanks, Edwin, and thanks for inviting me today. So before we get started, I wanted to introduce Impinge to those of you who don't know us. So Impinge wirelessly connects billions of everyday things to the internet using Rain RFID, which is a passive UHF RFID. And our platform uses Rain RFID to deliver data about items like apparel or packages to business applications. So we offer an integrated platform that includes tag chips, reader chips, and readers and gateways. And our connectivity platform provides a foundation for our partners to develop IoT solutions. So at Impinge, our sole focus is Rain RFID. So I look forward to talking with everyone today about RFID in retail. So just to get some insights into the audience today, we do want to launch a poll. We're very interested in seeing everyone's current RFID interests. So while you take the time to complete the poll, let's talk a little bit about what's going on in retail. So I think we've seen retailers struggling a little bit, and we've seen the closing of retail stores, even the sad collapse of some retail brands. And I think COVID exposed gaps in retailers' operations, specifically around omnichannel. And what we saw was that through these incredibly tough couple of years, retailers were able to thrive through COVID who could shift to flexible fulfillment options almost instantly. Retailers who really just survived weren't agile enough to flip operations overnight and leverage their inventory differently. And so I think as we see continued supply chain disruptions, retailers will still struggle post COVID on how to be profitable and efficient while serving this new shopper. Inventory accuracy, operational agility, and automation are all key components to the future success of retailers. And so the good news is that RFID is the technology that's addressing these challenges. So let's take a look at the poll. Um, wow, so there's, there's a, lot of great, um, a lot of great responses. It's great to see that about 24% have successfully implemented RFID, but that there's over 50% who are interested. So hopefully today's conversation will, will be very educational for everyone. We're looking forward to all the questions at the end too. So 
RFID has been in the news a lot lately. Walmart very publicly announced that they're expanding their RFID program to include more categories and will require tags and additional items beyond just apparel. So they're including uh, home goods like bath and shower and home decor, electronics, and even toys. And I think this is a big step forward, not only for Walmart's program, but for RFID in retail. So RFID has been used as somewhat of a secret weapon for many years, um, but the Walmart mandate is not only helping to make RFID a proven technology in the headlines, but it also is highlighting the diversity of product categories and use cases that can be applied to by retailers. Um, I think Macy's is a great example. So Macy's has had a tagging mandate for almost a decade, and they've spoken very publicly about how RFID has helped their business. They were able to increase their inventory accuracy dramatically, but that's not where they stopped. They've also implemented a pick and pack to the last unit program that allows them to sell down to the very last unit, reducing markdowns, safety inventory, and that really helps drive sales and margin. And Macy's is still continuing to leverage data insights from RFID at their exits to understand where, when, and what items are being stolen. So I think we're gonna to continue to see more announcements. Uh, just recently, Nordstrom announced a tagging mandate. So it's becoming very clear that RFID driving that inventory accuracy is truly related to the success of a retailer because in today's world, you wanna make sure that you have what the shopper wants where they want it to drive sales. And it's not just the mandates that are driving this RFID momentum. I think many brands and retailers are seeing the results and they're really talking about their successes. And what we're seeing is this wonderful ripple effect of adoption. So this slide highlights just a few major brands like Lululemon, Nike, Inditex, Walmart, that's spoken publicly about the value of RFID in their business. I think Nike is a great example saying, it's quickly becoming the most precise tool in our arsenal to meet an individual consumer's specific needs at the exact right moment. And that, that's a really big statement, right? One that highlights the meaningful impact of an RFID program. And I think it's becoming clear as well that the implications of having accurate inventory is a foundational requirement to serve today's shopper. Um, Omnichannel is a perfect example where retailers absolutely must have inventory visibility so they can connect the demand with the supply anywhere, anytime. It's no longer a retailer can assume that what they have in stock or just on a store shelf will meet that customer's expectations. They have to provide that seamless experience that really can only be executed with accurate inventory data. And I think the significance of inventory accuracy expands, it extends to so many business challenges and really business opportunities as well. We've talked about a few already with reducing safety stock, selling down to the last item, less markdowns, executing ship from store and curbside more flawlessly and enabling associates to confidently serve shoppers. So I think we are, in my opinion, at a, at a tipping point for retail RFID and I'm extremely excited to see it. So with so many retailers adopting RFID, it's great to see and understand just how valuable this technology has been to their business. And I think we mentioned this a little bit at the beginning, but Retailers have on average a 60 to 70% inventory accuracy. And with RFID, that can improve to 99% accuracy. Really big jump, very important opportunity for retailers. They can also see improvements up to 80% in their shipping and picking accuracy and a 90% reduction in receiving time. And another recent study that was done by McKenzie said that Retailers could unlock up to 5% top line growth from better stockout management and shrink reduction, as well as an, a 10 to 15% reduction in inventory related labor hours. So I think the business value to retailers who adopt RFID just keeps growing. And we continue to see major brands expose that value as they continue to adopt additional use cases. And the conversation is shifting to the consequences retailers might see by not adopting RFID. So as retailers focus on their digital transformation journey, I think they'll continue to tackle uh, some of the major issues around optimizing their business operations, customer experience, and of course, profitability. 
And RFID enables retailers to adopt use cases across their stores, across their supply chain, and across their entire value chain. And so I always say that RFID is the gift that keeps on giving because once an item is RFID enabled or RFID tagged, you can read it as many times as you want throughout the value chain. And really you can get insights and value at so many points throughout the lifespan of that item. And on this particular slide, it just shares a fraction of the use cases retailers are adopting in their stores. and doesn't even touch on the many ways retailers are using RFID in their supply chains. So when I think about adoption, it's really important for retailers to think about the future of their program and the many use cases they'll eventually add as their solution matures. So an example, an apparel retailer might start with cycle counting for inventory accuracy on the sales floor. And then they can use that data to improve their e-commerce orders, their curbside pickup, ensure orders aren't canceled, and even, even create like a timely pick and pack process. But they might also add automated reads from the back to the front of the store to gain insights into replenishment times and accuracy. Maybe they go on to add RFID enabled loss prevention or automated checkout. So really the possibilities are endless. I think many retailers today are realizing how much they can do with RFID. So how do you get started? So first my guidance is always to think about adoption for scalability. So make sure your choices reflect how you plan to grow your RFID program, not just for the first use case you plan to deploy, but for the many others that will eventually be implemented. But an RFID program always starts by choosing the RFID enabled tag that's right for your products and categories. So again, think about the different use cases and readers you're going to adopt in your program. And next is the reader. So different readers, whether handheld, gateways, a reader in a tunnel, a reader in a doorway, they're gonna offer different capabilities. So make sure you know what you're trying to read and how. And then lastly, the data delivery and insight. So the software you implement will be responsible for collecting and aggregating the RFID data for your business and really helping to deliver those insights to optimize your business operations. Um, there's many options on how that data flows within your enterprise system as well. So take all of that into consideration. Um, and, and while RFID, I just broke down into three simple steps. Obviously, it's really important to take this journey with a trusted partner with experience. So that's why I'm very happy to now turn it over to one of Impinge's trusted partners to talk about how they can help. So Todd, over to you. Great. Th thanks, Asha. That was really great insight into RFID trends uh, and just seeing how the adoption is really taking, uh, taking place in the retail area. Um, so it's exciting for all of us who are, are really interested and engaged in uh, investing in RFID uh, and at the same time, potentially a little frightening uh, for those out there who haven't implemented it, who are now faced with some of these challenges of trying to meet a mandate, um, you know, in the retail sector. Uh, the good news is Barcodes is here to be your trusted partner uh, and walk with you every step of the way. Um, and we've really set up two unique ways specifically to meet some of the mandates we're seeing in the retail space uh, that have come out recently. Uh, I'll take a minute just to walk through kind of the two options, but quite simply, uh, we print, you apply, uh, and you print, you apply. Um, and so with the we print, you apply solution, um, one of the key benefits of this is we eliminate the need for any large upfront costs. So Edwin, if you wanna to move to the next slide. Um, we provide all the upfront uh, infrastructure and resources to be able to, to print and deliver uh, labels for you. So our team uh, will work with you to understand what needs to be tagged or labeled. Uh, we'll work with you to understand at what level it needs to be tagged or labeled. So do we need to do things at an item level, a case level, a pallet level? Will we work with you on understanding the full solution of the scope we were at RFID uh, labeling and tagging needs. Our team then will help select the appropriate inlay, uh, the appropriate label needed, uh, so for example, uh, with the Walmart mandate that, that we spoke of earlier, uh, there are certain inlays and labels requirements that need to be approved uh, by, by certain um, agencies. And the good news is Barcodes has those partnerships uh, set up to already meet the needs of those labels. So we have access to the inlays, we have access to the labels to be able to deliver that solution. For solutions outside of that, you know, the Walmart mandate, for example, um, we also have partnerships and access to a wide variety of chips, inlays, uh, labeling options to make sure we deliver the right type of label that gives you optimal read performance. And so wherever, uh, the, whatever the solution asks for, uh, our dedicated consumable and logistics center uh, resources and team 
can help print and encode labels for you. And we obviously back it up with a guarantee on our compliance and performance. So great option. If you're looking to get going, want to use the existing uh, barcodes infrastructure and resources to deliver your solution, uh, we got you covered. Uh, another option is you print, you apply. And you may think this, or this may be a better option for you if you feel more comfortable owning the process, uh, if you have the technical capabilities and the infrastructure to bring it under your roof, or potentially you just need a little bit more flexibility of changing what type of, of labels and, and tags you want to encode and print. Um, that's great. We can help you work through that process as well. So barcodes through its partnerships can provide a full solution uh, that we really think about in four separate components, um, RFID printers, uh, RFID software, uh, supplies, uh, and services. So we have, again, strategic partnerships set up uh, with many of the key uh, players in the RFID space to provide the right solution for you. And at the same time, our barcodes true support services will ensure that your solution is delivered on time, it's up and running, and it continues to run. Um, one thing to note on, on the supply chain is we all know there's been some challenges uh, in, the, in the world right now uh, with, with every industry um, uh, acquiring the right software and, and delivering that solution. Um, the good news with barcodes, we have a complete flexibility to start with different phases. So if, you know, from a short term, if we need to get up and running with, with us printing and, and encoding it, but you want to ultimately move to a, a you print, you apply solution, that's great. We'll work with you through your timing uh, and your solution to make sure that you deliver the right, uh, we deliver the right solution at the right time. Um, on the next slide, you know, we talked, obviously the last two slides were more about really the, the tagging solution within the retail space. Um, but we also understand and know that this idea of where we kick off and implementing tagging solution at the item level can introduce a lot of benefits outside of just the retail sector. Um, and so before we move forward, I just wanna launch another poll to really get an understanding about how RFID can help with your applications and, and your verticals. And so we put a slide of, or a poll, excuse me, of, of what application um, would you are you really focusing on? Um, and as we think about that item level tagging and the benefit, we it's already been proven that it works at the retail sector. But if we think about moving back upstream about how it can impact and improve your efficiency in your operations and what cost savings it can bring to your business, all that is, is, is obviously an additional benefit um, to implementing this RFID solutioning. Um, and so uh, I don't know if we have the poll results, but it'd be interesting to see um, you know, as far as where we are, uh, whether it's retail, supply chain, warehouse, RFID, we have the RFID solutions that will work uh, in all of those. Um, and so it looks like we don't have the results, but we'll, we'll make sure we, we follow up um, uh, at the following. Oh, there it is. So it looks like uh, warehousing is a big piece of it, 72%. Um, inventory and supply chain are, are fair numbers as well. So again, a good variety of reasons or opportunities where RFID can help. Um, and like I said, barcode has, barcodes has an option for, for each and every one of these um, of, of introducing the solution for it. Um, if we jump into slide 16, we're, we're going to touch a little bit more probably on the warehousing um, inventory accuracy uh, point of, of showcasing barcodes full portfolio of RFID enabled portals and integrated solutions. Um, you might have re recall Edwin slide three, which talked about our RFID enabled supply chain offering. Uh, these solutions really are the core uh, of what we bring to market. Um, so starting with just quickly talking through the, the, the solutions here, dock door RFID portals really used in the warehouse manufacturing setting where we're accurately verifying shipments coming in and out of the facility. Very scalable solution um, and, and very important to be able to track efficiently um, you know, for, in, for shipments in and out. Our wall mount RFID uh, solution, ideal for identifying and tracking assets entering or exiting a location. Uh, so good for check in, check out uh, solutions. Uh, we see it uh, take uh, nice placement in the healthcare section as well. Um, so really uh, important for tracking in and out. Um, our tunnel RFID portal, uh, accurately identify assets really in a conveyor belt application. So have the ability for high volumes to read tags in any orientation. Uh, so really important um, uh, solution if you're really looking for accuracy on uh, with conveyor belt. Um, a, another unique offering are RFID enabled pallet portal. So it's forklift enabled, uh, allows us to do quick cycle counting uh, where we would take resources and, and manually counting in the past. 
we now have the ability through our uh, through a, a pallet uh, enabled RFID portal to be able to quickly read uh, and cycle count uh, entire warehouses. Uh, integrated RFID portal. Uh, this is ideal for think of e-commerce fulfillment. Uh, you're accurately identifying and counting assets uh, on top on a table, ready to box and ship. Uh, so again, ensuring accuracy uh, on both the count as well as what you're sh uh, shipping out uh, to customers, which ultimately increases customer satisfaction. Uh, and then the last one on the list here is our RFID enabled watch, which is really RFID on the go. So think of your hands-free solution uh, within your within your warehouse or, or facility. Um, these portals are in addition to our RFID handheld readers. Uh, if you're looking to to more on a, a kind of a one-by-one -one basis. And then also, as we mentioned earlier, we, we obviously offer RFID printing and labeling solutions. So Barcodes offers a full solution uh, across all RFID technologies and RFID solutions uh, in both retail and obviously we just talked about our manufacturing um, and, and warehousing uh, area. So why barcodes? Uh, why should, what's, what's different about barcodes? Um, and when we talk about our, our RFID enabled portals uh, and, and solutions, what really differentiates our solution from others is our wave antenna technology. And so a typical portal uh, may have a read range that either reads things that uh, it shouldn't, so outside the read range, or potentially has the tendency to miss items that should be read or inside the read range. And it's really based off of the technology of how the antenna is positioned and, and the pattern of, of how the antenna reads, reads products. With barcode solution, uh, our wave antenna technology provides full coverage. So very robust with read range is over 99% uh, when implemented properly. So it truly is a differentiator in the industry. Uh, and ultimately, barcodes can deliver uh, the read ranges that, that other, uh, other competitors can't uh, through their solutioning. So it's a very key differentiator uh, that barcodes can provide. Uh, moving to the next slide, we talked a little bit about earlier about the full solution, which is hardware, software, uh, supplies and services. Uh, we talked about the hardware, uh, wanted to introduce also our purpose-built software that provides insight and analytics into your business. Uh, so as you can see here, um, SLS View is a cloud-based, uh, mobile-friendly, fully integrated software to help with your, with your operations. Um, so the S, depending on also the, the specific application uh, within your operation, uh, SLS and barcodes offers modules that assist in the tracking, the analytics, the reporting. So all that insight is really right at your fingertips. Um, and you have the ability to, to manage your business better and really truly see the efficiencies gained by RFID. Uh, in addition, kind of that front end reporting, uh, we have the ability to integrate uh, with SLS Hub, uh, which is really our middleware that it integrates with our back end, your back end platform. So you, you get you know, start to finish uh, tracking and analytics uh, and, and insight uh, in your businesses that um, wouldn't be there uh, without our RFID solutioning. And then moving on to slide 19, um, wanted to really look at the tagging solution. And we talked about how consumables is really just a key component of this is that you really need the right tag, the right inlay uh, and, and the right uh, a solution uh, depending on what the needs is, uh, of your business are. And so we work with a variety of partners like Impinge uh, to get access to a variety of, of chips, antennas, inlays to really meet the needs uh, of the solution. Um, we work with a bunch, a uh, variety of converters uh, to be able to, to deliver the right type of media with the right sizing. Our facility uh, has the ability to make and hold. Uh, so we wanna make sure that the inventory is available for you when you need it. Uh, and we're flexible with what we're able to do by working with you to, to, to make sure that we have the inventory on, on, on hold and ready to go. Uh, and then lastly, I'd say our dedicated labels team uh, is there to help identify and certify the labels. So we have a trained team uh, that's able to work uh, with you day in, day out uh, to make sure that you're getting the guaranteed performance um, and the guaranteed of, of, of that it's there when you need it. Um, so great offering uh, across the board that uh, we're happy to offer uh, with, our, with our team, uh, specifically RFID. And then lastly, uh, the services component. Uh, we know RFID can be confusing, uh, but our team really takes the hassle um, out of the, the entire process. Um, again, four 
services just to quickly highlight here. When you think about how do we get this going, how do we implement it, um, how do we make sure that, that this process, once started, will continue on in, in perpetuity and deliver the results that we needed to? So number one, site survey. Um, so our team will assess what needs to be done, understand any complications, any limitations to why RFID might not be the right solution for you, but ultimately do a, a, just an overall assessment of what needs to be done and build the right solution for you. As a follow-up to that, we have our installation services, which will get you up and running. We have an extremely scalable solution uh, with a very, uh, you know, the trained team that uh, can, can get you up and running in days instead of weeks or months. Um, once up and running and installed, we do go through an engineering validation. Uh, and another way to say this is test, test, test. So we want to make sure that we are getting the read ranges uh, or the read performance of 99% or above. Uh, because the difference between 95% and 99, while it doesn't sound uh, significant, is, is huge when you're talking about a high volume uh, of products that are, are going through uh, your solutioning and your tracking. So we want to make sure that we're, we're north of 99% with our performance. And lastly, our comprehensive coverage. So we know your business's operations are mission critical. We want to make sure that you're fully supported. We eliminate downtime. And so we'll, comprehend, we'll provide comprehensive coverage across the life, type, life cycle of your product. Um, so really you know, excited to offer the, these, you know, both the hardware, the software, the services, the supplies, um, and really barcodes through its partnerships uh, is really a, a one-stop solution, uh, whether you're dealing in the retail space, whether you're dealing you know, back in the supply chain and, and really in your own existing operations and your manufacturing or warehousing. Uh, our RFID solutions are, are, can be really helpful uh, for you to gain efficiencies, uh, cost savings uh, in your business. So with that, uh, I'll pass it over to Edwin, um, who can follow up with kind of how to engage with barcodes, uh, with contact information, and obviously open the door for any Q&A that you might have regarding uh, what you saw here today. Well, thanks very much, Todd and Ashley, for your presentation. Uh, extremely insightful. So now it's time for them to answer your questions. So please enter those in the Q&A area. We still have a few minutes to address those. We look forward to following up with you to discuss how RFID can help your business. So if you would like a free assessment of how you can increase your inventory accuracy, please send us an email or complete a form on either one of the listed websites. So question that came in, how crush resistant are these RFID printed labels? Yeah, it's a good question. And um, it really depends on the type of label uh, that we're, we're providing. So there's not a one size fits all, right? So depending on the durability, depending on your tag inlay, the positioning, all of that can, can be uh, designed specifically for your need. And so it's a difficult answer to say there's a one size fits all answer to that question, but we clearly have to design the label and the solutioning around the needs of your business. Uh, so that's something that we, we certainly work with you through our dedicated uh, labeling team. Right. Ashley, I wonder if you uh, know the answer. If RF, is RFID a requirement for companies who want to use drones for managing inventory accounts? Well, that's an interesting question. A requirement? Uh, I don't believe so, but absolutely there are opportunities to leverage RFID um, from a uh, asset tracking perspective. We've definitely seen uh, different companies look at how to leverage drones to track uh, inventory or assets in large fields. So it's definitely an opportunity. Great. So, um... Do any of you know how you avoid the duplication of barcodes? So do the RFID barcodes have a unique number so it can be read several times? Yeah, so I, I think this again will come down to your application um, of whether or not you need unique tracking through RFID or barcoding. Um, what we have seen is the implementation that there's uh, certainly a, need, a potential need for both depending on where the product's being scanned and how robust um, kind of your RFID infrastructure is. Um, so this is again, a case by case basis on your application that we certainly can align the, the labeling, um, uh, you know, 
unifying kind of the barcoding with the RFID to, re to read appropriately, but there may be needs where you might want to track those separately. So again, that's working with our RFID experts uh, to deliver that right solution for you. Great. And Ashley, is, is Walmart imposing source tagging labeling on its suppliers? I mean, maybe expand a little bit on what you covered before. Yeah, so, so my understanding, right, and obviously it's it's what's been made available public, but um, the, the goal is that the items in the categories that are required to uh, be tagged by a certain date will need to arrive RFID enabled. So that means the brands, the manufacturers that are selling into Walmart in those categories um, will need to apply a tag prior to it arriving, uh, which definitely means that there's a choice to, to source label all the way up at the manufacturing level or at another point in the supply chain that's up to the, the brand or the provider um, into Walmart. Great. Now I see a few questions come in that are more specific to uh, you know, uh, a customer's uh, situation. So what we will do is, is, is we will follow up with you and, and see how RFID may fit your business. Um, and at this moment, we've reached the bottom of the hour. So I want to thank Todd and Ashley again for their uh, insightful presentation. And thank you for attending today's webinar. Hope you have a great rest of the day.